I hope in my talk to offer you some solutions um, to uh, responsible uh, meat consumption. I'll be very quickly flicking through some slides which basically have been covered by quite a few people this morning on the, about the unsustainable, pr unsustainability of food production. I'll look at permaculture as a design system that can offer some solutions to weigh out. I'm looking at integrating animals into a biodiverse system and hopefully summing up with some solutions that are going to be useful to, to all of us here. So, very quickly, unsustainable farming practices have led to erosion and so on, and we've heard a lot about that this morning. Interestingly enough, the Australian households throw out more than $5 billion worth annually food, which incidentally is more than Australians spend on digital equipment, more than it costs to run the Australian army. So that gives you a bit of perspective. Um, so, out of that five billion, eight hundred and seventy-two million dollars is actually f meat and fish waste. So um, that's sort of an interesting habit, and I imagine that here we're preaching to the converted, and you're probably not one of them. Um, another interesting habit, and that's the social stuff, what we need to be looking at in terms of sustainable meat production is that uh, more than half the Australian households in 2006, an ABS study, had not eaten the leftovers just chuck them out in that 800 and something million dollar food waste and not looked at composting uh, kitchen uh, waste either. Then we have the Australian population. Uh, it's growing not only in numbers but in size as well individually. There's obesity, there's diabetes and the lot. So just to give you some stats on meat figures because that's what I'm talking about is and I'm not a, a you know, meat grower per se other than a few hundred geese annually um, but that, they are the figures of what Australia produces in 2000 you can get these in 2005 as well, but originally I was going to link these figures to some other stats that were in 2002. You just type in the FAO website and you can get as up-to-date as 2005. So um, large quantities, and some of that is exported, some of that is uh, local. So the gross production income to Australia for the economy is huge and that actually means that there, if you add to that the overlay of supermarkets and so on, there is um, enormous investment per, there as an industry, that businesses are going to be reluctant to change and um, so really the change needs to come from the bottom up. All of us here need to do something and I think we can still eat meat. Although, you know, there are lots of meats we don't want to eat and they're the meats out of these kinds of systems and where grain gets shoved down throats of animals where the grain could have been used for other purposes. Now, in all fairness, in Australia there's a lot of free-ranging of cattle. Uh, you could ask questions about the uh, sustainability of that land capabilities and so on. In Europe there's much more about different breeds, it's much more intense, there's much less space available but they're starting to breed really big animals for uh, their bread to perform but probably hardly sexual activity or deliveries of babies because those bulls will hardly get, uh, be able to get themselves off their front legs to mate and the females all have to be um, given, they have to give birth through caesareans because the calves are so big that they can't exit uh, in a normal uh, fashion. So. Um, if we then overlay that with climate change, population growth and peak oil, it is a pretty grim kind of uh, scenario and then the water crisis isn't very good either. But I'm aiming for solutions here. So what, what can we do as individuals? And I think we need to very much start our, with our own decision making at our own table, at our own backyard. And most of all, I think we need to understand farming systems, not only for our meat production, how it is produced, how far it travels, where it comes from, and the happiness of the animal, of course, but for all our food consumption. Just because something is certified organic doesn't mean it hasn't got any food miles attached to it. We need to reduce our meat consumption. We generally need to produce less waste. We can grow our own, and that's a big play for that. We can buy local and sustainably produced meat, and we can use marginal lands to... Um, and establish sustainable um, carrying capacity of animals, whether it's kangaroos or cattle or sheep. And of course we need to look at improving animal welfare.